I'm gonna go in with the comb and I'm just going to slide this right under and right through and voila your wig is off easy right i know hey guys welcome back to my channel excuse the echo i am in the bathroom in today's video i just want to quickly show you how i remove my lace wig as you can see this wig is already lifting a little bit i have been wearing it for a day now and haven't just been taking like the necessary precautions in order to ensure that it stays laid but anyway in this video i'm going to be showing you how i remove um my lace front i have a bold cap under here and i have used ghost bond glue to lay this wig down i've also added a bit of got to be so you can imagine that this wig is like stuff so what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need some rubbing alcohol i got this from this cam and this is the 91 percent if you are someone that has very sensitive skin however i would recommend you go for alcohol that has a lower percentage just so it doesn't irritate your skin what you're also going to need is just a spray bottle i went ahead and put the alcohol in the spray bottle just to make sure that it's a lot easier for me to work with another thing that i like to use during this process is just the back of a comb i like using this um really thin back just you'll see when i'm doing it like i just like to slide it under for again just it makes it a lot easier when i'm removing the wig what you're also going to need is just a wet a towel okay so quickly the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to put the towel under warm or hot water and make sure that it's warm okay so i know a lot of people are hesitant to use got to be glue like my friends are so scared of using got to be glue because they always just wonder like is it going to be safe for my hairline is it going to be easy for me to remove so i just thought i'd just make this video for anyone else who is wondering so i'm just going to take this towel it's a biggish towel if you want like a face cloth that works as well and i'm just gonna dab this on the wig as you can see um i've added like quite a bit of water on this towel so just make sure that you don't wring the the towel too tightly because you sort of want that water to you know absorb or start absorbing into the lace this process is not necessary but i usually find that it does tend to loosen up the wig a little bit So I'm going to do this for about two minutes, just going back and forth on the wig and just pressing it down. I'm going to go back and make sure the towel, that the towel is still really, really warm. I find that warm, warm water works a lot quicker than cold water does. So make sure that you still have some water in the towel, like so. And again, I'm just going to press this down onto my wig. As you can see, it sort of does loosen the wig up a little bit. Okay, cool. So, you can see it's sort of like moving off on these sides as well. So, then I'm just going to go in with the spray bottle and just spray on the front of my wig. Make sure to sort of cover your eyes because if alcohol does get into your eyes it is going to burn and sort of place your finger so it doesn't ro run or roll against your whole face i like to keep the towel handy just so i can wipe off that alcohol on my face because i don't want it to irritate my skin i'm going to go in with the comb and i'm just going to slide this right under and right through and voila your wig is off easy right i know i'm just gonna take this the dry part of the towel and i'm gonna spray some alcohol on it just sort of get it drenched in alcohol and then i'm going to just sort of rub off this on the wig cap so that the wig cap comes off
Again, if you're someone that has sensitive skin, I would recommend alcohol with a lower percentage just so it doesn't irritate your your skin. Okay, I'm not gonna rub too much. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the alcohol directly onto the wig cap. But you sort of just pull it off. This is another reason why it's so important when you are actually laying your wig to make sure that you've brushed your hair out of the way so that you don't have any hair stuck in between in between um in between um, the sock and the glue as you can see I've got a bit more hair there it's really important that you're patient with this because you can end up just pulling your hair off so just spray on some alcohol if you need to give it a bit of a weight use the comb to sort of like break through that and if you're struggling which is quite normal then you can just always go back and just massage the alcohol in there. Go back with the towel as well. Go back with the warm towel. Just press that down. And it should pop right off. Now you'll notice a bit of like decoloration. That's normal, just depending on how long you've had the wig, but also depending on like have you been in the sun with the wig on. Because remember, this part of the skin has been like protected in a way, and you know, you're sunburnt, which just sort of wipe away the glue. And this for this for this area specifically, you can just go in with the comb and sort of just comb this glue out go ahead and wash my face just to you know try and remove this line but if you wipe down you can sort of feel that the glue has sort of gone but I'm gonna go in with some warmer water and just wash on my hair and my forehead just to make sure that all of the glue is gone and my forehead is not feeling tacky at all I really find that with this method and if you like take your time and use warm water and alcohol to remove the glue to remove the, the lace off of your head then it leaves very minimal or it leaves a very minimal amount of lace on the actual lace front if you know anything about this like or just using water or just pulling the wig off but I don't wouldn't recommend that you'll find that it leaves quite a bit of glue on the front which is also like quite difficult to clean so take your time with the, removing the wig, especially if it's a wig that you want to wear quite soon or a wig that you don't want to wash, then you'll find that it leaves your wig um, with less glue 
than you usually would have if you do any other method.